you know, people all the time are pointing out that wind isn't always blowing and the sun isn't always shining. What are you going to do the rest of the time? Well, Nevada just replaced another coal power plant with a big battery energy storage site. And so what's happening here is these energy sites, they take in energy from wind and solar and other sources. It could be hydroelectric, could be nuclear. It could be coal and it could be natural gas too. But it's taking energy in and it stores it and it uses it where necessary. But it's mostly taking in renewables. So this was put in by Swiss U.S. Battery Energy Storage Specialist Energy Vault, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange as NRGV. And this is a 220 megawatt or 440 megawatt hour grid tied Reed Gardner Battery Energy Storage System in Moapa, Nevada. I wonder who that Reed person is. Anyways, um, 50 miles northeast of Las Vegas, Energy Vault will maintain the system. So it's on the site of the former 557 megawatt coal-fired Reed Gardner generating station, which was demolished in 2019. What's a good reuse for it? It's a two-hour energy storage system that stores and dispatches excess wind and solar power. It's charged and discharged daily and dispatches stored renewable energy at peak consumption hours to meet demand. The hours that Envy Energy really got concerned about are from 5 to 9 p.m. What happens at that point is the solar energy has really started to ramp off as the sun's going down. So we've had to go out to the market, the energy market, and buy energy to meet the needs between 5 and 9. Over the last couple of years, we paid $250 a unit of energy during those hours. And for this, we can deliver energy for closer to $100 an hour per unit of energy. You know, I'm not 100%, but I think after 11 o'clock p.m., I think you can um, charge up an EV for free in Nevada. There, I think it's the one state that does offer something like that. And I don't know, I don't know how you know that it's the EV, you know, taking the juice, but I, I know there's some big benefit to doing or it's, it's just simply ridiculously cheap at night. So the Inflation Reduction Act covered 40% of the project's $250 million cost. Wow, that's going to be $100 million. The utilities customers will see a 15 to 20% reduction in their bills by the end of 24. You know, you, you can hate green energy all you want, but when you start getting an electric bill, it's gone down 15 to 20%. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah, I posted an article where they were complaining about California's energy bills going up, and I'm Pretty sure they're probably blaming it on the fact that, you know, they're using so much solar, which they can't use. I mean, the the issue there is that California now is generating more renewables than it actually needs, you know, at certain times during the day. So then this is where, you know, something like that would be enormously valuable to have that and capture all that energy and then use it at night. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, well, it, it's kind of fascinating to see that. I, I remember I, I was doing some help trying to find Bitcoin miners places to locate and where there was excess energy and infrastructure to put in mining operations. And it was always, there There was a couple of things. Hydroelectric is the cheapest. But there's always also this thing called gas flare-offs that you know the oil producers have. That's a big one they used to because it's another spot where the energy was just being wasted. And then, but the other thing is these uh, solar farms and wind, it really helped to have that. I mean, we're so reliant on it here in Nebraska and, you know, we have cheap energy here. But anyways, it's just good to see Nevada doing that. And I don't think people really realize that it's like you could store that stuff and eventually the cars will store it too. Yeah. Is there any mention of uh, whose battery technology they're using there? Are those all Teslas or are they some other manufacturer? I think it's, uh, I they didn't get into the manufacturing of the batteries, but I suspect that company being traded on the New York Stock Exchange, you know, maybe they, they have their own battery manufacturing somewhere. I, that wouldn't surprise me at all, but it, but it didn't get into that in the article. Hi, I'm David with EB World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. Do you have some feedback for us? Please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.